The launch of a three-year global reef expedition was announced today at the last day of the Forum of the World Conservation Congress in Barcelona, Spain. Prince Khaled bin Sultan, founder and chairman of the Khaled bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation, said that the goal of the expedition is to identify the current status and major threats facing the coral reef ecosystems. Golden Shadow, the motor yacht that will start the research journey in 2010, has on board sophisticated facilities. So we have some regal tangs, some yellow tangs, uh, some squareback antheas. The males are actually pink and they have this purple square on their body. And the uh, females are the bright orange color here. And we have another regal tang here as well. You might recognize them from the movie the Nemo. And the aircraft called the Golden Eye. What we have is a camera hole in the back and using the aircraft electrical system, we can power uh, a number of different digital spectrographic imagers that are coupled to a GPS. And <clears throat> what we have to do is uh, fly transects or lines that the researchers have uh, predetermined to cover the territory that they want us to map. Prince Khaled talked to IUCN Web TV about the expedition and the need to save our seas. Well, it was my dream for a long time that uh, most of the seas is to be benefited from our uh, great scientists in, uh, in the world. We have a lot of scientists determined to do th th uh, things to protect the sea, but there isn't the tools to take them there. So my foundation have the tools, which is the Golden, Odyssey, uh, Golden Fleet. The Golden Fleet will go around the world, uh, not necessarily in a straightforward. They will go to any country and they will go from uh, towards the west and then come all over around through Australia to the Far East and back to uh, the Mediterranean through the Red Sea. We will help any country would like us to be there, but we are not going to be intruders. We will only go where we are invited. And if we are invited, we will gather in the foundation the top notch uh, scientists, which they will, uh, each, any government will benefit from. Not only that, but to teach their local scientists with us so they can take over and protect their own seas. And who can join your expedition? It's an open invitation. I mean, I'm not going to names and welcome any uh, any volunteers. Uh, it depends on the, what do the, what is needed for and what is the research for. So each research needs a certain type of uh, scientists. Uh, but uh, I hope that scientists from all over the world, scientists with with great uh, experience, will uh, will volunteer and. Uh, uh, that is an open invitation, we'll give them tickets, we'll give them accommodation, and we will both try to protect the seas. Are you hopeful we will manage to, to reverse the trend of biodiversity loss during our lifetime? Will we be able to, to stop ocean degradation, for example? We have to be optimistic. I'm a very optimistic person. And I think that awareness is coming. Uh, governments now are giving more attention to protecting uh, and clean sea and clean oceans, clean air. So we are now uh, in, in the peak of, of giving this great importance. So yes, uh, I'm very optimistic that in the next uh, 10 or 20 years you will see a big difference. Your Royal Highness, thank you very much. Thank you.